How's it going everybody? Expat Stacker coming to you with an unboxing video. Um, while I'm doing this unboxing, I'm uh, just going to give a couple of quick uh, shout outs to a couple channels. I've shouted them out before, but I uh, just want to give a shout out to Silver Conundrum and Golden Gun, uh, Anna T. And I'm not sure if I've given a shout out to Mad Stacker before, but I wanted to give him a shout out too. Go ahead and check out his channel. Very entertaining. Uh, and it's got a lot of interesting stuff. Um, Aloha Stacker, um, Patriot Stacker, and Millennial Stacker. So these are just a few of the channels I've been uh, watching lately. Oh, and before I forget, Juice Stacker. Um, check out all those channels um, I've put myself into a position because now I just shout out a whole bunch of channels and normally I leave the links in the description but uh, <laughs> you guys just go ahead and check out their um, channels uh, and one more one more I want to say is a transient stacker um, guys go give that guy some love uh, very interesting channel he is also an expat from um, He's from the United States, but also based out of Asia. But he works in the United States, and his job is that he is a trucker. So uh, his stacking journey is kind of like all over the U.S. And he just put out this really cool video recently. I think it's called um, Reasons Why I Stack Part 2. And it just shows all these different um, places that he's been to all over the US and what he's acquired in some of his videos as well as like you know showing some of the reasons why he stacks so check out all those channels I will leave a link in the description to that video that I just mentioned but uh, for all the other channels you can just type it into YouTube I'm sure you will find it uh, or you'll see them in the comment section of this video sorry for being lazy but uh, is what it is okay so without further ado let's get into the unboxing for today um pretty excited for this one this is something that i had been eyeing on and off online i was like kind of hoping someone would buy it because i knew there was only one but it was sitting there for a few weeks and i just eventually had to pull the trigger on my own because i've really been wanting this for a while and um as you guys know um well Let's just show here. I I am in in Korea, and this is from Comsco, um, and this is coming from my normal source, KP Mix. Um, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. I am Expat Stacker. I am from the United States, and I'm based here in South Korea. So, um, yeah, let's get into this unboxing. I I just had been looking at this and. Uh, Man, yeah, like I said, I was kind of hoping someone else would, would, would buy it because I, I, I wanted it, but also, you know, I, I didn't want to sell stocks, which is how I ended up getting this. Um, I sold some stocks, and you know, honestly. Um, I've hit my my stacking goals for this year, so this was not something that I really needed to do. Although I am uh, doing the 100 um, pieces of gold challenge, so um, you know, I. Uh, but anyway, long and the short of it is, I did decide to sell some stocks, um, and I'm kind of glad that I did. Um, I've mentioned in a, in a couple of videos about uh, how I've sold stocks right before they. Um, took a dip or something and it happened again guys I'm just I just got lucky all right juice stacker is the one who knows about like how to read charts and stuff but honestly I sold uh, stocks for this company called LG chem and their main growth driver is electric uh, electric vehicle batteries and they just very recently this the uh, decided to spin off their electric battery business which basically means that they're going to create a new company which is only going to uh, be responsible for making the electric batteries and when they did that, th that the company is also a petrochemical company and they have they they make um, 
pharmaceutical products. So it's a chemical company. They make lots of stuff. But the main growth driver has been the EV battery business. And um, they've, they're number one in the world for the EV battery business. And in case you don't know, electric vehicle battery business is huge. And it's going to be a huge growth driver over the next you know, several decades. They produce electric vehicle batteries for Tesla, for, um, you know, the Korean um, auto companies, and uh, even they give uh, electric uh, batteries for the drones that work in um, Amazon's warehouse. So anyway, huge company. Uh, they said that they're going to spin off that business into its own company. And when they announced that, their stock price plummeted. Um, it, it's like, around 600 something dollars a share and it took like uh more than a 10 percent dip over two days it's recovered a little bit since then but still didn't get back to where it was and i bought in at a really good price like a few months back and um decided to sell in order to get this and uh also sold a few other shares and at a profit and they also went down so i just got lucky i'm not the oracle of soul or whatever <laughs> although i'll take it if you call me that but um anyway that's how i ended up um deciding to acquire this piece here and um so i've been talking about just about everything except for what this is so let's go ahead and take a look at this together what is it well it is comsco um 2019 Hanbando round uh, metal. So um, here's the COA. So you can see here. Um, one thing I haven't been able to find about this is the mintage. And it doesn't look like that's on this COA here either. Um, I've been looking all over, even typing in Korean to try to find it, but I haven't been able to find it. So yeah, it comes in this nice, beautiful display case from Comsco. And um, I looked at the American bullion dealers, you know, the big sites um, over there. And um, I only found this on uh, one site, which was, uh, I believe, Provident Metals. So, um, and they have a description of what this coin um, means on their site. Um, and some of the information there is actually wrong but um yeah this is a very nice piece that i have been looking at for a while a few years and then it became available from a private seller on uh, kp max and um was thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it and decided to pull the trigger so um let's just talk a little bit about what this uh what's on this this metal here um so here we have uh, basically what is the korean flag but it's like kind of swirling um so this is like kind of the yin and the yang symbol um in korean it this flag is called the taeguki and um if you're not familiar with what the flag looks like i'll show it to you right now And so you can see there's these like three uh, lines that are situated in four different um, corners of the flag. And that's what these like kind of swirling lines are. <music> on Provident Metal, it says that on the... Um, you know the obverse of the coin that there's like a yin and a yang and that these are like swirling sun rays or something i don't know where they got that information from but it's pretty clear that this is the korean flag kind of makes me wonder where they uh get their descriptions from they just make it up or what you know so here this is the one two three single bars and then this is the um single bar single bar with the um dotted single bar in the middle so that's like three 
four, and then over here there's the um, broken bars. These are called trigrams, uh, by the way, in English. Um, there's the broken bars here and the single bar in the middle, which creates one, two, three, four, five. And then over here you have the um, three uh, broken trigrams here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then of course it says 2019 Korea. Um, it has this um, uh, kind of uh, like clay-like uh, texture to it. It's, it. it's described as matte um, and mirror finish on uh, Provident Metals, but it's not exactly a matte finish and it's not exactly a mirror finish either. Um, it's kind of hard to describe. It kind of looks like um, clay a little bit. Um, and that might come from the clay uh, uh, texture that they use on their Chi Wu Tone Wang coins. Um, but, uh, and then they have the um, security feature here in the uh, lower half of, you could call that the yin yang if you want to, but um, it's not really called that, but basically means the same thing. Uh, they have their security feature here where it says AU. Um, and then if you rotate it over this way, it's uh, three nines. So really cool security feature there. And this also has um, the lines um, in the top half uh, of the yin yang. Um, and uh, that would be pretty difficult to um, counterfeit, I would think. Um, and these trigrams, by the way, each have a different meaning. Um, so like three, um, it's called uh, gun, and it means, uh, it has different correlations to things in nature. Um, uh, like this one is correlated with um, heaven and spring and the direction of east and um, uh, the virtue of humanity. Um, means like justice and um, fatherly figure um, and then uh, let's see that's three and then over here this is one two three four uh, this one is called Li and it's associated with the sun and the season autumn um, or spring and the direction of south and stands for righteousness and the daughter and uh, associated with the um, natural element of fire and uh, the meaning is um, fruition, or um, in Korean, uh, justice is uh, jongli, and in um, Korean, uh, fruition is uh, kyolshil. Um, all right, and over here, one, two, three, four, five, the five trigrams, uh, this is called gam, and is associated with uh, the moon, and uh, the season of winter, and the direction of north, um, and uh, intelligence and associated with the um, sun like um, like your your father and your son um, and then uh, the natural element that it's correlated with is water and uh, the meaning is wisdom or jie in Korean um, all right and then down here finally the um, six piece trigram uh, this is called Gon, and it's associated with earth and summer in the direction of west and courtesy and the mother and uh, the earthly um, elements of dirt and um, vitality, Sing uh in Korean. So that is uh, all about the obverse there, a lot of information, but um, I mean, it's the, the, the flag of a country, so there's always going to be a lot of um, detail in that and uh, well I just like the way that this thing um, the uh, luster of this coin just really changes a whole lot when you uh, depending on the direction that the light hits it um, so that is about the obverse now let's take a look about uh, the reverse here all right so we take a look at the back uh, side of the coin the reverse side of the coin and here it has Comsco's logo one ounce fine gold three nines fine Republic of Korea and over here it says Han Ban Do, which in English. And then over here it says Han Ban Do in Korean. And then in the background they make the Korean peninsula out of Hangul, which is the Korean alphabet. Han Ban Do, 
uh, means uh, Korean Peninsula. So Han means like Korean, and Bando means peninsula. Um, and over here is uh, Comsco's mint mark, which kind of looks like the uh, Korean flag, and then it has a little K down there in the bottom. And I think it was strategically placed over here. This this background is kind of like swirling, kind of looks like the sea or the ocean, which has a lot of um, obviously a significance for um, a nation which is a peninsula um, but over here is uh, a disputed territory called in Korean it's called um, it's called Dokdo it's a it's a few uh, small islands and it's disputed territory with Japan and I actually did a video about a special coin that I got from a bullion dealer here called uh, the Korea Gold Exchange and they um, made some rounds to commemorate this uh, territory um, here it says Dokdo in Korean and then it has uh, here you can see Dokdo beautiful islands of Korea this is a one ounce silver coin four nines fine they did make um, a gold version of this a well but I did not pick that up um, I got three of these uh, um, Dokdo rounds here um, so interesting video you go ahead and check that out I uh, left a link in the description um, for you if you're interested in checking that out um, and one other thing I wanted to do here is compare the here we have the 2020 uh, South Korean um, silver tiger by Comsco and on the back here um, it has a very similar um, design but it's a little bit different um, so it has the Korean Peninsula made with the Korean alphabet but it says here, uh, Te Han Min Guk, which means like the Republic of Korea. And if we compare that to this um, gold medal here, um, you can see, even if you can't read, you can see that it's different. Um, it says Han Ban Do, which means the Korean Peninsula. Um, so a little bit different there and interesting. And as you can see, the mint mark is on the left on this one. Uh, and it's on the right here on this one. So that's why I say I think it was intentionally placed there um, Because of the disputed territory because that's showing you know a map of the Korean Peninsula. So maybe a bit more um, Historical significance there um, so yeah uh, I'm really another thing about this one more thing about this is that it's 40 millimeters so it's a uh, quite large um, it's the same size as this, um, you know, this tiger. Um, so it's quite quite a large piece, um, and uh, it's thick as well. Um, maybe that's because it's three nines fine. Uh, but yeah, forty millimeters, um, pretty large. Let's also go ahead and just compare it real quick to this, which is a one ounce, you know, uh, gold buffalo. Um, so these are side by side. You can see, you know, how much larger it is um, than the buffalo. Um, pretty significantly larger. So it's a really big piece. Um, and uh, yeah, just overall, I really like this um, metal and everything about it is great. The texture, all the different, um, you know, textures on it, this kind of clay looking or earthly looking um, background here, the swirling uh, trigrams of the Korean flag, all the significance that that has, um, just the way it uh, luster and reflects with all the different textures, the mirror finish, the lines, the, you know, everything about it, it's really great. Um, the size is awesome and everything I it represents, I also, really like so I mean I've been looking at this coin for almost two years um, I keep calling it a coin I have a hard time because Comsco is the sovereign mint of Korea it's just that the the pieces that they make here are not denominated in Korean one so technically they're not coins um, but anyway it's not really important uh, I'm really uh, happy to get this piece and I believe this is piece uh, 39 if I'm not mistaken on my 100 gold piece challenge guys I hope you enjoyed uh, 
learning a little bit about the Korean flag and uh, about this piece in particular and um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave me a comment with your thoughts and give the video a thumbs up alright everybody this is expat stacker and I'll catch you on the flip side